Hi everybody, welcome to another impromptu Monkey Island Madness on a Saturday right before Christmas. So we have this guy saying is Christmas fun or what? Um, and if you know me, um, that's a big fat lot because <laughs> I'm pretty much bah humbug. But I, di I am getting in the spirit, like everything's decorated and uh, so anyway. So, Eileen had posted yesterday um, a link to a video where this girl was using washi tape and acrylic paint and making, um, I don't know, a, re a really cool background. So I thought, well, today we'll go ahead and try it because we got nothing better to do. So he's walking over here very, um, very gingerly because obviously he got it too full. <laughs> I didn't if, you spill just, any of it. if you just joined the recording, I was giving Robert crap about filling my coffee cup. So, yeah, I'll be washing, but not my clothes. I am going to wash you my clothes later, though. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Robert. It's You're really welcome. good. So, um, I got out because I'm not sure how this is all going to work. Um,. I got out like my least favorite washies and the girl in the video was doing it on book paper. Now this is some pretty fragile paper. It's out of some old, old books that Robert's mother had and then I um, coffee dyed it. So maybe I'll start with this one or maybe the smaller one until we get a feel for it. Okay, we're going to do the smaller one with the larger type. How's that? And what the girl did was um, hi Monique. Um, she just took random washi, and it didn't seem like there was a theme or anything else. And I only got out part of the washi, my least favorite washies, because if I waste them, then I don't care. So these are all pretty but ugly, and I'll just randomly, well, not the Jane Davenport ones. I like them. But this was where they fit. So um, <clears throat> the girl just randomly took washi. And I don't think this is. This is like the Scotch brand washi. And it's more like duct tape, really. And I actually do like this. So maybe I won't use that. All right, here. I'm going to just go for it. Rip and stick it. That was pretty much what the girl did. She just took random pieces of washi in different lengths different sizes and just splat them down and I'm sorry my nails are so nasty there I think they're gonna have to go away today because one of them has a crack so she really just did this she just took random washi and stuck it down and she she did um, I'm gonna have to pull out where you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing because this is actually a pretty small piece of paper um, hi Darren I sent you a follow request on Twitter this morning, Darren. Okay. And some of these washies have funky finishes. Um, and I probably bought them before I realized that the finish makes a difference. And really, there was like no rhyme or reason for how this girl was putting the washi on. It was just random. We'll put some potty people on. Hi, Paula. I have no clue what I'm doing, Paula. So um, I'm doing that technique that Eileen sent me yesterday um, where you just stick the washi tape randomly on the pages. And you can see, look at how all mine are real straight. Hers were not straight. She just put them on random in different sizes. So the potty people are crooked. Um, here's some pink tape. Eileen will like that. And she didn't cover the whole page. Um... But she did make sure that the edges were down because the next step is um, acrylic paint. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Her name is Snapping Monsters on um, YouTube, I guess. I don't know if she overlapped or not. I'm going to go ahead and overlap. I don't care. Some of this washi is not wanting to stick that great. And I might have to ask Eileen for the next step because I'm not sure that I remember everything. And by the time she was done, you really couldn't even read the book paper, could you, Eileen? Like you didn't know it was on the book paper to begin with, which I thought, well, why did you obliterate every bit of the the text? That's okay, Paula. If you need to take a nap, you take a nap. That was her first video. Well, good for her. She didn't talk in it at all. Um, if she had any narrative, she um, added text on top of what she was doing. We'll add some bright um, cupcakes here. So we'll just see how it turns out. Eileen's probably having a fit about now with the, all the pink that's going on. She'll get over it. Looks a mess, doesn't it? Like, what the heck are you doing? And that's kind of what I thought while I was watching her yesterday. It was like, what are you doing? But her end product came out really cute, I have to say. Alright, is that about enough, do you think, Eileen? I'm thinking that may be about enough. Let me add just a little bit of dark. Oh, look in here, this is the cute washi. I made myself some little tiny, can you see that? Little tiny domino washi. Isn't that cute? Now you guys can't see it. We woke up to snow this morning, you guys. Which is crazy. All right here, now you'll be able to see it against the white background, maybe. Can you see that? Little tiny baby. I'm not going to use it because this is special. Right, it's medical tape that I um, put double-sided sticky tape on painted black and then added the dots. <laughs> Alright, I was going to add some dark. Alright. She used some word washi too. Yeah, Eileen, the thing that I don't think I have any word washi. Well, I have some, I do have some Tim Holtz text washi. But it's, well, I can go get it and see what it's like. Um, but I've about covered this whole page now. So hi, Linda. Hi, everybody that I haven't acknowledged when you came in. Um, I'm concentrating. You want me to add the text on there? Because I do have some... Tim Holtz, and then I have some of this crap. I should have taken this back. This um, smash washi. What a bunch of junk that was. Jeez. All right, let me go get the Tim Holtz text real quick. Oops.
But this isn't, I mean, it's like that distress stuff that it's really hard to read. But I'll add it. I don't really care. I haven't used hardly any of it, which is really weird. Finding the ends of these sometimes are a pain in the neck. All right, this, I may not be able to use it because I can't find the end. Do whatever I want. Well, thank you, Eileen. I can't believe you said that. Usually you're saying, no, do it this way. All right, there's the Tim Holtz text. And then I do have the, which I really love and I haven't used much of. Um, I just bought it not very long ago, actually. Well, a couple months anyway, is the Tim Holtz, Holtz words. So I probably will end up using these at the end. That's my thinking right now. Yeah, the white really stands out against the um, text paper. So, all right, now we're going to go to the next step. I think we're ready. All right, next step that the girl did, I'll put this washi out of the way because me and acrylic paint can make a mess really, really fast. I'm going to go ahead. Um, I have a ton of craft paint, and I'm not sure that it mattered. She was using a bunch of different types of paint, but she was using more of the heavy body um, paint. So I have like this whole tub of heavy body paints. I'll just grab them out randomly, you know, because she it looked like she just did random. Oops. I will keep the... I love this... Um, Dina Wakely heavy body gilt this is some nice paint if you want gold paint this is the one to buy it's awesome alright let's start just because of my comfort level let's start with a well no she used light colors didn't she yeah she used her fingers to paint it on which I'll do um, but yeah in the end you add black so I'm going to start with some light colors I think but she just took a little bit of paint like this and then went along the edges of the um, washi to kind of um, now this is real real transparent so I'm gonna have to um, yeah cuz hers was mostly opaque wasn't it Eileen most of her colors were opaque paint and I'm going to have to get out a baby wipe. So let me see what I have in here. I have some of that Reeves junk paint too. Here, let's see how this does. Obnoxious orange, Eileen. No, this is real transparent. Which I guess it's okay. Except that we'll just add it here and there. And there was honestly no rhyme or reason to how she did this. She just added the paint here and there. Um, but hers was definitely more opaque, so maybe. Hmm. <laughs> and I don't have any other um, heavy body paint, so this is pretty much what it is. Well, if these aren't opaque, then I'm screwed, Eileen. Well, I can get out the craft paint and try it. Yeah, because these are pretty much all transparent. Well, we'll give it a try. We'll give it our best shot. That's all we can do. And I'm not sure if the craft paint would be any more. But she really just made a mess with the paint, right, Eileen? I mean, it was just all over the place. Oops, that was a lot. It's definitely getting rid of the text paper, I have to say that. <laughs> I think this is working. Heck, we're just going to go with it and see. It's really looking good? Oh, yeah. When I'm looking over at the screen, I'm going, yeah, I'm loving this. 
Maybe that. Maybe the Reeves yellow will be different than the. All right, I got to get a baby wipe, or these colors are gonna start putting mud on my finger. Can't have mud on my finger. really that's all right we're just gonna go with it and see um it's all we can do and then I suppose on some of this washi like right there where my fingerprint is I can I could wipe off the paint too let's add some red Actually, I kind of like the transparent because you can still see the book page um, underneath it. So I kind of like that, but hers was definitely opaque. No doubt about it. What did Paula say? But Liquitex Basics, okay, what, what, what? I'm not following chat right now, so don't know even know what they're talking about. She definitely had some better paint, I would say that. But I'm not investing in paint, Eileen, so get that out of your crazy head right now. That ain't happening. And maybe I'm putting it on too thin. I don't know. Don't know. Big old fat experiment. It is definitely colorful. She used a recipe book page. Okay. These are Liquitex Basics. Paula's saying buy them. I, I already got them. I don't use a lot of um, acrylic paint anymore. Liquitex Basics is the exact same paint as Dina Wakely. Same colors even. Oh, really? See, I didn't know that, Paula. Um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm not much of an acrylic painter person. Um, I mean, obviously, I have a bunch of it, and I've used it in crafts in the past. Um, this is pissy pink, Eileen. <laughs> Avert your eyes, hurry. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't know that Dina Wakeley's was, um, the exact same as Liquitex Basics. And I guess I could be putting it on thicker, you know, to make it more opaque too. Maybe I'm just spreading it too, too thin. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'll try a little bit different here and there. But she was obliterating the edges of the washi tape, which you can still see my edges. It is crazy colorful though. Hi, Dorothy. All right. Do you think that's enough, Eileen? Now I'm trying to remember what the next step that she did was. All right. Let's see this. Dilutions. I still got some. No, that's hard as a rock now. Here's that Dilutions paint that I made the paint booger um, jar out of. All manufacturers make pissy pink. Yes, they do. Oh, this is a pretty color. Brilliant purple. We're going to add some of that there along the blue edge because that's pretty.
Well, putting it on this way definitely gives it some more texture for sure. All right, and then the next step was she used um, like black to make the circles, right, Eileen? Because she used a bunch of different colors just like that. It was very colorful, hers were. All right, I'm waiting for Eileen to tell me. Hi, Jeannie. The pissy pink goes with the potty people washi. Isn't that the truth? And the, the cupcake washi, which is hard to see right now. All right, I'm going to blow this dry real, real quick. Um... Oops, don't want it on my other book page, do I? That looks like a crazy quilt. Yeah. She cut it in the shape she wanted and then cut a circle in it and added circle screen. All right. Then I think what we'll do is just for the hell of it, I'll I'll make it ATC size and we'll turn it into backgrounds for ATCs because I don't know what else I want to do with it. I don't think the um, washi is popping up. That one did down here, but I think it's it's sticking pretty good. And I guess at the end, what I could do to make sure that it doesn't pop up is give it a coat of matte medium or some sort of varnish or something. Um, okay, so now I'm going to cut it into two and a half by three and a half inch um pieces right and then she added the black to the edges she also added a funky circle die cut yeah i don't have a fun funky circle die cut of which you speak so um yeah let's see we'll do the width of this page so we can get the most out right it's five and a half so i'll cut this the two and a half inch way There we go, cutting it up. And then we'll cut this the three and a half inch way. And hopefully we'll get four out. And if we love it, we'll make some more. The little pieces actually are pretty fun. Actually, this reminds me of um, Paul, one of your early videos when I very first found you. Um, you were just blindly, I think it was you, doing techniques. Um, I could be wrong, but anyway. Um, hi, Lynn. This reminds me of doing that, you know, where you just randomly used a prompt and you gave yourself a time limit, like five minutes, to accomplish it. Some of my funnest stuff um, came out really good using that technique. It was just so random and so fun. Um, in fact, my prompt cards are done that way. 
I made my, myself in my own set of prompt cards. I'll show them to you here in a minute. Um, but yeah, I made some really, really fun backgrounds that way. You can't see any follow requests. I'm following you, though. Darren, I'll check it later if I remember. <laughs> if not, just tweet me and or tweet somebody and say, tell Janet to remember to do this. Because I don't trust my memory. I've told you that a thousand times. Okay, so that's what we've got right now. We've got four ATC size cards. Um, and let me grab those um, prompt cards. You like it better in small pieces? Yeah, it's different, isn't it? It looks like a crazy quilt kind of right now. If I can find those prompt cards. I hate when I reorganize stuff because then I can't find nothing. I can't find it right off the top. It, they used to just sit right here in a clear box. Uh, me and my organization. Somebody needs to whip me. Doggone it. Well, I guess I'll show them to you someday when I find them. I know they're in another box somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> All right, never mind. Can't find them right now. I hate when I reorganize and move stuff around. It annoys the hell out of me. Um. Yeah, she used the black paint on the edges, so let me see if I have some black in the Liquitex Basics. If not, I will. I've got Mars Black. Um, and she was putting it on with her fingers, so I'm just going to puke some out here real quick. I could have used this number paper too. I mean, it's pretty lightweight. Yeah, she was real random with the black paint. Like, real crazy random. I don't want to co cover up all the prettiness, though. Tell me if I'm doing this totally wrong, Eileen. It's been more than 24 hours, so I'm not sure I remember. <laughs> I know she did one side heavier than the um, other. I do remember that. Now this black is nice and opaque. And then she took... <clears throat> I don't care if the back gets messy as long as I don't start transferring it everywhere. Um, she took circles, and I have a bunch of different um, <clears throat> excuse me um, things to make circles. So I can make circles of all different sizes. Um, I think on this, though, she was working on a, a bigger um surface. So let me see what I've got here for circles. I think this may be too much black. Stop adding. Okay, too much black. Never mind. All right, we'll put this one aside and we'll do another one with less black. All right, all right. All right, like, was it just a small amount of black, like your ink in the edges, Eileen? That's what I'm thinking, maybe. Some of this is pretty thick, so I'm definitely going to have to blow it. Is this what you're talking about? Now see that where you can see the edge of the washi? I don't like that. Well, oh well. We're going with it. Is that better, Eileen? Less black? Do a funky edge with the black? All right.
which is kind of a random is what I'm thinking you're talking about. All right, that's not too much. Well, while we've got the black out, we're going to go ahead and Now she's saying, too much, stop, stop, stop. And I remember one side of hers was, um, stop adding black. Um, one side of her card was lopsided with the black. I do remember that. Like she had more black on the one side of the card than the other. Eileen's in chat having a cow right now. Stop adding black. <laughs> Okay, okay. See, it was more like this, where this side had more black than this side. If I remember right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, that's that. Enough black for that one. Here's the last one. This is the washi that doesn't want to stay down. I'm not going to add as much black this time. Maybe. <laughs> and CB's going, oh my god, she's carried away again. If I'm doing magicals, I'm carried away. <laughs> it's hard having two bosses when you're trying to stream. But that's okay. If I knew what I was doing, they wouldn't have to tell me every move to make, right? So much of this is, honest to God, new to me. Never done it. Start over and use all green. Yeah, in your dreams, Eileen. In your dreams. I actually do like the colorful. I will say that. I like the colorful. I'm going to have to put something under that washi because it is so not wanting to stick. Here, I'll just add a little extra black. Maybe the paint will make it stick. <laughs> That's it. All right. There. I didn't get too carried away with the black. Hi, cat. Oh, Jeannie said that. Well, when I said use... When I saw use all green, hello, who else um, would I think? All right. So if you're just coming in and you missed the beginning, what we've done is we added, first of all, randomly on a text page or a book page, random washi here and there. Okay, and then on top of the random washi, along the edges of the washi, I didn't obliterate the washi, I added random acrylic paint. And this was based on a, a link that Eileen sent me yesterday. Okay, so, um, and then what did she do, Eileen? She, um, she did, I remember the die cut. She drew circles, first of all. I'm going to use, like, a, a cap. Feel sorry for Eileen. Oh, my gosh. That is impossible. I'm not feeling sorry. See, I've got black paint on me now, so it's going to be going everywhere. Got to get it off. Printer ink. One little dab will paint a whole room. Do you want me to do the, the one with the potty people on it, Paula? <laughs> I'm going to have to use a glue stick and stick this washi down. It's just not wanting to stick. Now it'll stick because this is permanent. That's something you cannot do with a Xyron machine. All right, I'm waiting for you. She cut a circle out of this. What the hell? All right. She cut a circle out of this. All right, we're going to cut a circle. I'm going to... Yeah, because I only have the one-inch punch, and hers was definitely bigger than that. So I'm going to have to get out my cutting tool. And that's fine. I don't mind. I'm going to have a mess to clean up.
and I only got out this small one because I didn't listen to you. Oh my god. We can start over. Alright, I thought we were going to put the black circles on here, but apparently not. We're going to cut circles out of it. And that's good. We can do that. Alright, that's the smallest. That's the medium. That's the biggest. Let's do the biggest and see where we come out. Oh, ouchie. Why did I put the back black on the edges, Eileen? I didn't dry this. I've got to dry it to keep the paint off my tool. One inch is enough given the ATC size. You think so? Hang on, I'm going to dry the black or I'm going to have black ink everywhere. Which I probably already do. Or paint. We'll get something usable, Eileen. Don't get your panties all in a wad. Sorry. Non-screen. Alright, that's probably dry. Just one circle and then add it to cardstock and then add word to the circle hole. Did you watch the same video I watched? <laughs> I love mini comp books, Jeannie. Oh my gosh, yes. I do love mini comp books. Alright, let's see. I don't remember how big this one cuts. I'm going to do an experiment one first. See if it's the size circle I want. Alright. That's a pretty small circle, right? So blue is the smallest. That means red is the biggest. All right, I kind of think the red. What do you think about a circle that size, Eileen? I think the red. And then she just glued it. Cut a damn circle in there. Oh my god, she is really getting after me. <laughs> All right, I'm cutting a damn circle in there. If I'm screwing up, I'm, it's hashtag all Eileen's fault, okay? So here's the circle. There's a circle, Eileen. How do you like that? That's a good size, okay. Now I can cut as many of these as I want, right? I can cut smaller ones out of that. I must have goofed up cutting it the ATC size. That's when I wasn't listening to Eileen, but see now I've got too much green right there. The whole thing's going to be just green. That's alright. We'll use random circles. Just send, a, send me a PDF. Oh my god. Alright. So, and then just what I don't remember the card stuff that she glued it on. Was it just white? <clears throat> I'll just cut more circles. <laughs> the circles are kind of fun and random, I have to say. Only one circle in the ATC. Too late. I have three. <laughs> Okay, one circle in the ATC. Um, I think I like, let's see. I like this one next. All right, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to actually cut out the potty people, I think. Nope, I'm going to put the potty people upside down and cut the circle up here because I le like that the least. Right? And it was the red one that made the biggest circle. All right, we're going for this, Eileen. 
All right, so I am going to use the ATC piece of it, I guess is what you're saying. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Good grief. <laughs> I love doing streams with Eileen. I really do. Because she really gets her panties in a wad over stuff. <laughs> All right. Does any card stock matter? Because I have some scrap here that we can use. Or I can get white out. Here's a piece of blue. Is that... Um... Add the ATC to a piece of cardstock to get a backing, then add a word to the circle hole. Okay. So I think, let's see, I'm going to use this um, washi. So um, they're alternating black and white, black and white. So, well, where did she add that white? The blue is terrible. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Eileen. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> here, I think I have some white cards stuck right here. Left over from something. Yeah, this is good enough. I suppose I should cut it to the size. And I've still got that blob of, um, yeah, I'm going to use my cutter. Did I put it away? I have, she has worked me into like one square inch. You're going to have a stroke. We cannot have that, Eileen, so just knock that crap off. That is unacceptable. <clears throat> All right, hang on. I'm going to get a three and a half inch piece of paper here. I'm having to do this on my lap. I could have done... Um, a Christmas one. I have tons of Christmas washi. And some of it I really don't like that much. All right. <laughs> I always have fun when I do streams where I do what Eileen tells me to do. Nothing works right, but it sure is fun. <coughs> Uh, here, now we've got the ATC size cards. All right, we're going to go ahead and affix that. This is not a three and a half inch card, obviously. That's all right. We'll just affix it anyway. What the hell size is that? Add some black to the circle hole before I glue it down. Okay, just with my finger, right? Hang on. I really do try and keep from making an absolute total mess. How much exactly, Darren? How much black is some black? Hi, Debbie. Um, yeah, you got here just in time. <laughs> Whatever I'm doing, you know I'm doing it wrong. I'm trying to not add too much black, Eileen. I really am. Just a little black around the edge of the hole. All right, is that okay? Make sure I get all the edge. There you go. It is looking pretty cool, I have to say. Yeah, she did use a funky circle stamp over the hole, but I don't have a funky circle stamp. Well, I do have like a coffee stain stamp. I don't know how big it is, and I don't even know where it is. I know it's an unmounted, so. Um, all right. She said, yes, that's good, so we're good to go. I'm going to have to cut another piece of paper, though, because um, this is not ATC size. I don't know what the heck size I cut it, but I didn't cut it ATC. I probably forgot one of the cuts because it's two and three quarters. 
which you know what I'm gonna go ahead and cut a quarter inch off over on this edge and go ahead and make it ATC and just redo the black on that edge that's no big deal I can do that now Eileen is if she hasn't had a stroke yet she's gonna <laughs> she's going no 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 it's all right Eileen it's all right it's all gonna be fine it's really gonna be fine because if we have to, we'll throw this away and start right over. I don't think any of this is so dear that we can't just throw it in the garbage can. Tomorrow's a new day. All right, there we go. We got a little black on the edges. All right, I got to dry this and wash my hands. Um you can add some splats to the white that you can see through the hole. We can do that. We can do anything we want. Do we want to add black splats? I think so. Here's my splatter. Let me get some water. I'll water down this black and use it. These circles will actually be pretty darn useful, Eileen, so I don't mind that we, um, that I goofed up the first time, you know? Get my pink brick wash wet first. All right. Oh my God, she's got me splattering. She's got me doing so much messy stuff. And I, remember when I said I don't want to do messy stuff? Yeah. Well, here I am. Here I am. I'm going to splatter multiple white ones at once. Oh my god. I kind of get Jean <laughs> with the splatter thing. I really do. I might splatter on the card too. Because I don't know where the holes are going to be on these other ones. The splatters are going to be all over my room. That I know. Okay, not too much. That will go in the glue water and I'll have to fix it later. Cool to use the circles for a journal cover. Yeah, that would, that would be cool. Messy is wonderful. Isn't it amazing how Eileen says that when we're making the mess at my house? Actually, I think the um, that gold, that Diane Reevely gold splatters at the very end would be very cool too. I mean. Dang it! I can't hold it because oops. <laughs> there. Let's see exactly how hold it. I know. I only need one of these to be dry for right now. The others can air dry. Alright, and that blob of black we're not going to worry about. Alright. The acrylic pores are fun at someone else's stream. Yeah, exactly, Debbie. All right, where's the card with the hole in it? I've misplaced the card with a hole in it. Here it is. Found it. All right. 
That's that one. I like this splatter better. All right, here we go. Yeah, I like that splatter better. So can I go ahead and affix them together now, Eileen, with a glue stick? I'm hoping she says yes, because I'm getting the glue stick out. <laughs> she said, glue it, baby, glue it. So I am all over the glue stick right now. And when she used the dye, Eileen, I could just use a, a black pen and draw the, the crazy circles around it. Paint and glue on that. That definitely has to go in the garbage. And I'll be trimming off the excess white, so no worries about that. This blue there. CB, are you having a heart attack yet? <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, cool. I like that. I like that. I can see doing this. Um, buy baby wipes in bulk. That's um. That's my free advice. If Angie was here, she would be, say hashtag free advice. Buy baby wipes in bulk if you're going to do this. You're going to want them. Okay. Now, when you are finished, you should mail this to Eileen wrapped in a cami thong. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> All right, I'm cleaning up this paint mess, too. I'll put some more out here in a minute. Because I can just see this is going to be everywhere if I don't do it right now. All right. And here we go. Get the paint out of the way. Um, CB left. Oh, not yet. <laughs> CB didn't leave. Eileen, you're just being mean. You should get in the Christmas spirit like me. <laughs> All right, but now that I've added the black around the edge, I don't think I need um, those crazy um, circles. Um, let's see what word stamp we've got going on here. Um, probably for this one, we're either going to use Journey or Discover. <laughs> Journey would not be bad. You like Journey in there? Journey's not bad. Actually, these Tim Holtz word stamps are working out great for this. Or Discover. I like the black. Um, so we'll just use the Journey one. I'm just cutting it out off the roll. D yeah, this came in really handy, right? Because I was thinking I was going to have to write the words. But I don't want to, I'm going to do it this way because I like that splatter. So I'm going to do it a little bit off center. Is that right, Eileen? Add a word like hell on the first one. <laughs> I could put go to hell and then put a little Eileen underneath it. Like you, that's a quote from you. <laughs> Where did I get the tape? This is um, this is Tim Holtz tape, and I got this one at Hobby Lobby, and I probably used my 40% off coupon because I never do anything other than that, and it was $9.99, or it was on sale. Um, and it is really kind of cool. I mean, it looks like every it's all the same, 
but it just is words that you can cut out and use or use it like washi whatever um i would imagine you can order it anywhere you can get tim holtz products dorothy um yep do something around the hole I think let me think um, I really think I'd like some gold splatters on this I really do or and I'd like a little bit more black so um, Eileen hold on to your panties for a minute okay I think I'm going to use, um, I brought the bubble stamp, bubble tape, or bubble wrap. Um, and I think I'm going to do that, and then I'll grab the black pen, and I'll probably use the Posca, but I'm going to use a little bit of this. And I don't save this stuff, I use it and throw it away. Tiny puppy tracks. <laughs> I, hi, Ange. I'm glad you made it here. Um, I'm not going to use a lot. I got it's the tiny, tiny bubble wrap, not the normal size, because I think the normal size would be too big on here. So I'm going to go ahead and take. I don't want too much, but just a few little bubble wraps. And I could have added that with white, too. All right, and I'll get the black Posca out. I like the gold splatters, though. I do like the idea of that. There's the black Posca. Because the Posca pens um, will write on acrylic without wrecking them. Yeah, I just made ATCs. I don't think Eileen wanted me to, but I did. But I could do this in any size, I guess. And what she did was she just had, like, the black circles that went that overlapped each other. And which look a little funky here. Um, the edge of the washi. Definitely made it weird. Um, but that's kind of, at the end of the day, what hers looked like. It really did. Um, but I think I am going to cover up that circle and add some gold splatters. Or white. White splatters would also, if I, if I don't do it in the circle part itself, if I do it in the, um, and I have these I can use to cover up that circle so I don't splatter. I think actually I'm going to add some white spot. I've got to find the white and all this mess. Oh, look, early on I found it. Yay, me. Or the white bubble, too. Yeah, I'm liking these, too, Eileen. I, they're, it's funner than I thought. And it does look pretty cool. It really does. I don't want a lot of this either. Alright, and then some gold splatters. I do want the gold splatters. I like gold splatters. And I'm not a gold shimmery kind of person, which is really weird. But when um, my niece sent me this Dina Wakely gold paint... Oh, man. She turned me into a convert. The girl did. I should have gone and gotten clean water, but oh well. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I just pulled my paintbrush apart. That's what you get for leaving them in water, you guys. <laughs> I might 
ini dulu baru ke warnanya. Alright, not too much. I won't blow that dry. I'll go ahead and set it aside. I hope this one... Um, is too big and I can cut some of it off. Yeah, I cut each one of these at two and three quarters. What a numbskull I am. Got the three and a half inch right though. Um, so this one I'll just take an eighth off each edge, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's okay. Um, it really does remind me of um, that Paula challenge thing that I did. And I'm sure it was Paula. Just cut the edge off this. I'll put this back down where you guys can see it. But it's got the gold splatters on it that are... are drawing so all right so this right now is I know I want it two and a half so it doesn't matter right and this old book paper is pretty darn fragile so it's good that it gets some um, added on to a great I just put my hand in the wet paint that I said don't do what is wrong with me CB get um get me some scotch while you're up please it's a big bottle in the cupboard <laughs> <God. laughs> alright which is my least favorite favorite part of this one I don't want it right in the center. I'd rather have it offset a little bit. Um, I, I like this part right here, and I like that. I think my mis least favorite part of this one is right here, where that pink is. Um, so I'm cutting that out. And it was the red one. Yeah, it's the red one that makes the larger circle. So I'm cutting the circle out, Eileen. Hold your breath. You're going to be happy when that pissy pink is gone. I even got some pissy purple while I'm in it. All right, we'll go ahead and put some black around the edge. This one isn't going to be as pretty because I did too much black around the edge. Eileen was right. Don't tell her I said that, please. Yeah, this one's not going to be as much fun, but it's okay. Okay, bye, Darren. Have a, a great afternoon, and if I don't see you before, Merry Christmas. All right, so we got that. We'll go ahead and add it to the page that has the best splatters. That has the best splatters, no doubt. It's got a lot of splatter. Yeah, nope, this is the best splatter up here. All right, we're gluing this bad boy down. You heard me? I hope whatever I said was good.
Okay. Cool. Could you put gold on top of the black just on the edges? We can sure give that a try, um, Dorothy. We can do anything we want. I could add white back to it. I mean, do a white edge. That would be fine. Um, I could add washi tape back. You know, I could fix this. You know, I could go back and add just washi and then add some other colors on top. I mean, yeah, my card, I can do whatever I want. That's the cool thing about being the boss. Do what you want. Get rid of that little white edge because that's annoying. Oh, dang it. All right. Another thing on some of this washi, I'm going to say I probably could use the exacto and scratch it off. On the paper I can't, but on the washi I can. See, I can actually just scrape the black right off that washi if it's some... Um, that finish that I don't like. Yeah, I can get the paint right off, the black paint right off that. make it a little bit more irregular so but then I have more pink showing which Eileen won't like alright in this one the next black word is travel or discover I'll pull you guys down where you can see it a little bit better let me look at that other <gasps> butterfingers I kind of like the black. All right, we're going to use this, and it says memories. I like that better than discover. Wipe with a wet wipe. Yep. You want to use discover? You want to use the white against the white background? Because I have wish, dreams. Um, this just has a bunch of numbers. Let's see what else we got going on here. And then these are the double width in the smaller type. I think I like, yeah, I think I like the bigger type. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do that, because we can. Well, another thing I could do, and I think I will, because we're using the white tape against the white background, I'll probably go ahead and outline around the Discover after I kind of get it centered. I'll have to cut a little bit off. That's fine. And this is when that fine tip um, paint pen will come in really really handy because I'm not sure that that big Posca would make a fine enough line and Eileen's going just stick it down <laughs> okay it's down it's down edge it with a black pen yeah that's what I was thinking too Eileen and I'm not sure let's see what um, I'll just do it on the back. Um, we'll use this. It's right here. All right. I'm going to add some white back to it with the little...
I can always add the um, the black back, you know. Where's my, there it is. Oops, that gold is still wet on that other one, so I need to get the heat gun out and The gold is a little hard to see. Let me dry these real quick because I really don't want paint from one end of this house to the other. I like the black wording better than the white wording. And use the white paint pen. We can do that, Debbie. I think my white Posca was, excuse me, acting up the last time I used it. Yep, it was. I remember it. We'll, we'll give it a try. If not, I've got the, um, the new paint pen. Let's see if it's going to work. Yep. Believe it or not, it's going to work. I'm going to dry it before I put that on there because I think I'll move that gold paint. So let me dry it and then I'll add the uh, white wonky circles. The gold, I do like the gold though. I'm glad we added that. Hang on, I'll move it up where you guys can at least see it. I just cut them that size, Ange, because I didn't know what else to do. And Eileen said, just cut it in shapes. Um, so I just took ATC because I could send them out in Happy Mail. It's drying. The gold is taking a little while, but it's drying. It is kind of cool because you can see, you know, like different pieces of the washi. Like that blue up there is really cool. I like that blue. If I was going to do another one of these, I would use more washi like that, I think. All right, I'll just try and stay away from the big blobs that are still probably damp. Let it dry for a second. Yeah, see that one is probably, yeah, it's still just slightly damp. It's actually pretty fun. I'm liking how they're turning out too, Eileen, believe it or not. It's so different than what I would normally do, but yeah, I'm I'm enjoying this. Um, let's see. Make sure the gold is dry around the hole. All right. I think I'm going to, well, no, I'm going to go get the, the fine tip, and well, I don't even need to do that. I've got a back, black pen here that'll work. Um, yeah, this food ball will work. I'm going to go ahead and, and draw around the inside of the circle in black, I think.
yeah. Makes the circle slightly smaller, but yeah, I like it. It makes it look more finished or something. They want it where I cut out the circles and see what happens. Okay. Because I've got. All right. I'm going to choose one. All right. No. I don't like that. I mean, it kind of gets lost. Probably what would be f more fun or funner. is to go ahead and paint this alright let's just do it since we can we're right here we've got extra cards um, just to use those circles that we cut and I could get a piece of black card stock but I've already got this one cut so who cares and I'm finger painting anyway so what the heck Yeah, on these, Joan, come on, focus, there we go. On these, yeah, the circles do definitely really stand out. All right. And I didn't cut this one down. I'm pretty sure it's wider than the three and a half or whatever. Or two and a half, sorry. Um, Alright. We're going to do some of the same techniques. I'll go ahead and put, let that dry real quick. And I'll add some of the white bubble wrap. And then we'll put the circles on top of that. Just for something different to try, you know, because we're going to have the leftover junk anyway, so might as well use it. Yeah, why not try it? Because I never forget that any of this is just paper, and that's why I don't get too upset even in the beast. It's one day. It's one day in the life of a person, and it's paper. Don't ever forget. It's just paper. If it doesn't work out, try it again. There's something about acrylic paint drawing when you heat it, hit it with a heat gun that what makes me want to gag. I don't know why. And I don't know if any of this is going to show through, right, because I don't know where the circles are going to end up. So this may or may not work out. We'll find out, won't we? Can you guys see what I'm doing? I went ahead and added a little bit of the white bubble wrap. Now I'm adding the gold sparkles. Now we're going to put the circles that we cut on top of that as soon as it's dry. So I'm going to set th this one aside and let it dry because that gold takes a long time to dry. Set it over here out of the way and we'll go ahead. I actually like the the dark lettering against the white background. I will say that. I, this one, I like this one way better than this one. Um, yeah, I really do. So on the next one, I'm going to use the, um, the black word. The reverse type is what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go ahead and 
do this one. When we'll put this one. I'm not crazy about that, but I like that. I like that. I don't want to do two the same, but I think I'm gonna. Nah, I'll cut out the potty people. I'll do it down at the bottom. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll cut out the potty people. Um, let me make sure that this is two and a half. I don't want to. Nope. Yep, this one I've already cut down. So, all right. Bye bye, potty pipe people. And this one has more of the type sticking out of it, too. So, and I'm going to do it pretty close to the edge. Yeah, these are fun. Fun, fun, fun. And I'm learning as I go, so um, if I do it again, I'll know what not to do the next time. What to do the next time? Listen, Eileen. <laughs> so she doesn't have a cow, man. Yes, Lynn, I am recording. I had to look up there to make sure. I thought, oh, man, if I forgot to record, I'm going to hit myself in the head. All right. There we go. I do like the white um, here and there. I will say that. And I don't care if it's um, the complete bubble or not. Ah, uh, the white paint is acting up a little bit. Yeah, not a whole lot, just a little bit here and there. Um, I can go ahead and splatter it. Well, nah, I'll go ahead and add it to the card next and then cover the whole display. Okay, good, and that has just a few little splatters, which are fine. Okay, bye, Lynn. Ooh, prime rib. Yum, yum, yum. You're going to be living large, eating good today or tomorrow, whichever. I guess I could leave that there because I'm going to have to scrub it anyway, so I'll just leave it there. I can't trash it out anymore at this point. You're multitasking. How's Logan doing today? You, excuse me. You've probably already talked about it in chat. So if you don't want to talk about it again, that's fine. Ignore. I said that. <clears throat> and actually, I want this at that at the bottom. So. See why glue sticks aren't a mess. Use this throwaway sheet underneath them. Get a glue book. Alright, and I wanted those splatters right there. So there we go. Okay. I don't know why I can't keep in the camera frame. All right. I can, I guess, right now. Well, I want to do that last because it's got to dry. So I guess now I can go ahead and draw the wonky circles. I'm going to do it with the black pen again. I like it with the black pen. So the edges of the washi definitely make it weird. Yeah, 
that's good enough. All right, let's see what black word we've got next. What the heck? Okay. Because all three of these rolls have the alternating black and white. Adventures Pro Travel is next one on here. Destination is going to be too long. Um, the, and then Journey again. So this one is probably either going to be Travel. And I don't have any preference, you guys. I don't care. Together. Let's do Together because Eileen and I did this one together. We're doing Together. You guys don't get a vote. Sorry. I just decided... Now, one thing about this washi tape um, from Tim Holtz, um, and if I'd have opened this and seen it before I bought it, who knows whether or not I would have bought it. But really, on these rolls, you don't get a whole hell of a lot of tape. Just saying. Um, yeah. Not like most washies. I don't have one here in front of me, but yeah, they're pretty skimpy on the amount of actual tape they give you, in my humble opinion. Um, I don't necessarily want this in the center, but I might have to center it just because of the length of the word. So I'm going to lose that splatter if I'm not careful. Yeah, I'm... Well, you know what I can do is cut a little bit of that black off, too. Yep, I might lose the splatter. Oh, well. I love me some minions, too. Who doesn't love a good minion? Hello. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this probably right in the center. Because there's, yeah, it's just going to have to go like that. Lost the splatter on that one. Alright, I'm going to cover this. Go ahead and splatter with gold. I really am trying to contain the mess to some extent, you know? I can feel this gold paint going everywhere, you guys. Everywhere. Alright. Let me wash this gold out because I'm also going to, just for fun and giggles, um, Add some little bit of black splatters too. Not a lot. Actually, I'm going to try and get it in that white. I do like the splatters up in that white. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. All right, now I'm going to blow it. No, Eileen, I'm not going to blow it. I'm going to dry it. How about that? Hang on, I have to bend over to get the heat gun. I dropped it on the floor. It's a shocker, Jamie, but I like minions. <laughs> no, that was before you were talking. I don't know what's a shocker, Jamie.
Alrighty. It's a little warm. Just adding some black up there along the edge where I had probably cut it off a little bit. feels better. Yeah, those are fun. You want me to do some more? I didn't get in any trouble, Eileen. I went ahead and did the third one all by my own self, believe it or not. And I used together because we did this together. So, see, I'm not really as mean as I act sometimes. I'm a nice person occasionally, not very often, but occasionally. So here we go. Let me get the mess out of the way. And um, there's the three finished washi. We would have had four. Yeah, I definitely like the black wording um, more than the white. Um... Yeah, I do. But it's still fun. I mean, yeah, I'm liking them. You want more? Sometimes. <laughs> we did it together sometimes. And that's how crooked my camera is. Let me, let me put them so they're straight for me. There. Now they're straight for me and kind of straight for you guys. All right. Let's just start from scratch and do some more. All right, one of these is a little bit large, and I just spread the black. Yay me, but it's watered down, so who cares? Yep, one of them's just an odd size. Oh, you know what? We've got to finish that other one. Duh, never mind. Yeah, I like the black circles, too. Um... Yeah, I I don't of the two these are my favorite. Um this one with the white and I may tear that white word off and put a black one in and see if if I end up liking it better. Um and muting some of this white. I'm not crazy about that great big white, but um yeah, these are definitely these two are definitely my favorite. All right, now we're going to um Did I measure that? Let me just measure it again. Use the background that we started. Let me get this for glue. All right. We're going to glue the circles on. Oops. Using black paint for glue. That ain't going to work good. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Jeez. I need a babysitter. Ange, I need a babysitter. Get over here. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put I don't want the I'm going to put that one aside cuz I don't want the potty people right in the middle, you know? I don't mind the stars right in the middle. Yeah, using the black paint as glue. Yep. I need a babysitter, I'm saying. Okay, I'm abutting the um, the circles, and then I will go ahead and probably draw around the circles, maybe with white, something to make them stand out a little bit more. And I don't know what this is going to turn out like. Shoot. Might have to cut another circle out of these, you know? <laughs> Who knows? 
I should have enough circles. I don't know if I will or not. Janet is a butting today. Yes, I am a butting today. <laughs> There's not going to be a place where that's going to work. Nope, unless... Oh, wait. Did I cut this down already? Let's see. Yep, already cut down, so that's not going to work. Yeah, these cutoffs are just going to be too small to use, I think. It looks kind of a mess to me, in all honesty. It might have been better if I did them against a white background but rather than a black background, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Um, because they kind of get lost in that black background. Yeah. All right, we're going to make another sheet. Next time we're going to do it against a white background because I really think they got lost um, on that black background. Yeah, and I can't. If I'd done it with matte medium, I could get that off, but I can't get it off, so oh well. Yeah, that's just weird. Try white around them. We could do that. Yeah, because right now I just think they look weird. They're not very pleasing. Oh, that's the black pen. Can you guys see? It's funny because there's a little tiny bunny face right there. Can you see the little bunny face? Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. You can definitely tell that this was not planned, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks better with the white around it. Yeah, the white is definitely helping a lot. I will agree with that. No doubt about it. And where I've gone over and made a, a little bit of a mess. I'm trying to go real slow um, so I don't have to go back and make some corrections. I just put my hand there. 
brilliant. I can go back and make corrections with the black pen, so no worries there. Yeah, it would be better if I had the circles to go ahead and finish this. So when we do another sheet, um, well, who knows what colors I'll use. The colors could be really out of whack, too, but we'll find out. Make them into Christmas baubles, you think? I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm not loving that, frankly. But, oh well, we'll just move on. I do like these with the words cut out. I do like these. That, mm, no, not really. Unless I did something different to that. So, all right, here we go. We're going to do another one real quick. We've been on for, what, two hours already? Really? Wow. Well, I think the next one's going to go quicker because... Um, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing now. Alright, here's the book page that I'm going to use, and I'll just cut where I cut the circles out of it. It'll be a funny shape, but that's fine. I'll probably end up cutting them into ATC size anyway, because what else am I going to do with this? All right, this is a page out of a dictionary, so sanitary science. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use the map side. <laughs> Eileen, no comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> I am going to clean up this mess a little bit because I will soon have it everywhere. I haven't seen Paula in chat for a while, so I hope she's either doing something productive or taking a nap. get the washi back. I'm not sure that, that your choice of washi tape frankly matters a whole lot. Um, I like that blue a lot and I'm going to use the checkerboard I think this time. I won't use the potty people because I didn't like that at all. Um, so yeah. Alright, so if you weren't here when I started that last one um, what the girl did was just take random washi and paste it all over the page. So here we go. No rhyme or reason for how she did this. Try some Christmas washi. Well, I didn't even bring the Christmas washi out here with me. I keep the holiday washi in a different place. Use the bright and colorful flower washi. Oops.
she had some large width washi tapes. Yeah, the girl in the um, video, she did. She did have some some really wide washi tapes. And I've got one, um, but it's a like a scotch. I can actually use it, but this is not as easy to tear as regular. Well, yeah, it is, I guess. Oops, drop that. Yeah, because she did it like really different sizes, too. Where mine are tending to be more uniform. Yeah, hers were totally not uniform. This is how this whole project started, and the girl that um, Eileen showed me how to do it, this is what she did. She just randomly took washi tape and um, pasted it down, just in any pattern, whatever. But it was, and there was no rhyme or reason to design or... Um, colors or anything. It was just totally a random washi tape placement is I guess the best way to put it. One thing though she did, she made very sure that her edges were down because she knew what was to come. So I, I think I'll be a little bit more mindful about that this time. I did like the numbers on the last one. And I'm using washi that I'm, you know, is probably my least favorite of all the washies that I have. You know what? I think I'm going to use something a little bit more colorful now. Because um, I think that's what gives those a little bit more interest is the variation in colors. So... Oh, come on, Washi, agree with me here. I know this looks a mess. Um, but it did end up coming out pretty fun. So I'm cool with this. And some of these washies I look at and I think, where the heck did you get that? I have no clue where some of these washies came from. Did I buy them? Were they sent to me? I don't, I don't know. Man, I don't know. have rubber ducky washi. <laughs> now this I do remember. I think my niece got it for me one day when we stopped at Dollar Tree. But it's nice and bright colors so what the heck. Now this does have crappy um, glue on it. I will say that. And it's a, a funny texture. It's icky. And then the in, be in between places where you don't have washi, um, you can put acrylic paint. So that's what I'm going to do next.
Okay. I think that's probably enough washi, right, Eileen? I think I got pretty good coverage going on. Yeah, let's use a little bit of the sock monkey washing because everything is better with a little bit of sock monkey, I think. Looks like lots to you. Me too. Okay. That'll be good. Now we'll just grab random um acrylic paints <clears throat> and um, well that one's I'm going to use a little bit brighter colors I think oops I really got to make sure these edges are down. Actually, I don't mind the opaque so much, or the, the transparent so much, because you can see the book sheet through. So, I guess she was using more opaque paint in hers. Um, but I think the, the paint is really just obscuring the edges of the washi. Um, but where there's book text, I like that you can see that through that. Um, so I guess the transparent at the end of the day didn't bother me. Um, and I'm not necessarily picking colors that are in the washi either. Um, I'm just randomly picking colors with no thought to what I'm doing here. Hopefully when this is all said and done that won't be apparent <laughs> or obvious. Girl you had no idea what you were doing. And I don't necessarily want big areas of color either. Because if I do cut them down to ATC size, it becomes hard to work with one great big color. So. Is Ange off? Okay, bye Ange. Have fun with Logan.
I think I need some brighter colors in here now too. Yeah, Monique, I agree. With this technique, you it would be real hard to screw up too much, right? I need to clean off my finger. Green and orange ain't going to look good together. Hi, Barb. It is, Barb. It is colorful and pretty. You want to see what the end product is? I don't know if you saw if we're... Eileen had um, given me a link yesterday to this, but it's almost like that um, five-minute challenge thing where you're given a prompt and you have to do something. But these are the cards that we ended up doing with the first batch I did. So that one's together. This was the first one we did. So I'm learning as I go. Um, I'm more comfortable doing it this time, I will say that. So, but it's using your washi tape, Barb, um, and I think that's why Eileen kind of suggested it to me because I can't imagine why she thinks I have too much washi. I'm pretty sure that that's kind of like sock monkeys. There's no such thing as too much. I'm pretty sure. I did screw up a little bit in the first beginning, but <clears throat> excuse me, how bad can you screw up doing something like this? Really? Use every color paint you own. Washi, which is awesome to begin with. I mean, it, you just can't screw up too bad, I don't think. Oops, I like that washi actually right there. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is getting real dry. That's a lot of yellow. Alright, we'll use some of this. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's not at all the color that I thought was going to come out. That's all right. We're going to go with it. Arlene, I'd love that. Purple next to orange. I really like that lavender purple color on that last one. Yeah, these are, this is definitely brighter than the last ones too, I think. And I think too, um, smaller pieces, if you're going to turn it into ATC size, smaller pieces of washi. Um, I'm just trying to foresee the, the pitfalls. Um, I really like this. Um, it's called Brilliant Purple, but it's more of a, a lilac, and I really like that.
and I will try and find another green Eileen a lighter green there's one come on nope that's not the green I was thinking of this is the green I was thinking of this is really bright looks like monkey dung <laughs> brighter is better you think Jeannie we're definitely going to have some paper to work with here, so it's all good. It's all good. This is like serious lime green. I'm going to use a little bit here and there to tone down some of the yellow. Because looking at it in the camera, it's just like, holy cow, that is some yellow you got going on there. So I'll just tone it down a little bit. Oh, that one piece of washi is so not wanting to stick. I'm going to have to glue stick it. I really am. I'm just going to have to glue stick it. <clears throat> Alright, looking at that, I'm just going, what the hell? Um... Looks like neon green. It's actually brilliant yellow green in Liquitex Basics. And I even have some metallic colors. Paint's gray. Let's add some bronze. What the heck? We can't get fired because we're the boss. Oh, that's pretty next to that purple. All right, let's see how much of this I've got left showing. Yeah, that bronze next to that purple is really pretty. We'll be toning us down some monkeys. Okay, CB, <clears throat> have I gotten totally carried away yet? <laughs> and the weird thing about this piece of paper is I really don't have a straight edge to start measuring from, so... Alright. It's got a little bit of metallic here and there. I am going to get rid of, because if this ends up on the same sheet of paper, it is going to be obnoxious. That big stripe right in the middle. So let me get a darker color. I'll get this darker blue um, and break that up. Because I look in the camera, I think it actually shows better in the camera um, sometimes than it does when you're sitting here. <clears throat> yeah, just break up those stripes a little bit, I think is better. Alright, I'm about ready to cut this. Should I do it into ATC size again? Because the ATC size was actually, you know, well, one, I can give them away um, <clears throat> when they're ATC size. And the recipient actually has a way of keeping them, you know, storing them with their other ATCs. So I kind of like the idea of the ATC size. Um, I really do. Alright, now one thing that we could do easier this time is rather than do it on the individual cards, I'm going to go ahead and dry this and then I'll go ahead and do um, some stamping with the um, bubble wrap and the gold splatters if we're going to go ahead and include those again. Do them now while they're big, while this is big and then I don't have to go back and do it all individually, you know what I mean? 
Um, bye, Barb. Um, oh, you're making sweet petals. Oh, I want to come to your house, Barb. <laughs> Um, if I don't, if you don't make it back or I don't see you, Barb, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, I hope, um, Race is coming home and you guys have a great Christmas together. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do, I can do either white splatters or the white, um, bubble wrap. I actually like this bubble wrap. Did I throw that? No, nope, I didn't throw it away yet. I don't save the bubble wrap, you guys. When I, after I use it, I'm I'm not saving this. I throw it away. There's always more coming in the mail or whatever. Now this little stuff, I don't see it quite so often, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit, not a lot, but I think the white. Um, just pops a little bit. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead. Oops. Some of these I'm definitely going to have to glue down. I'm just looking over at the camera um, because really I honest to gosh think you guys that it shows better in the camera than it does um, in person like when I look over there I get a better feel for the entire composition um, and I'll go ahead and um, Well, I'll put some more over here on the edge because I, I'm edges are always weird. I don't know. So if I end up having to go out on the edge, there's something out there, you know. And if it gets thrown away, who cares? All right, here we're gonna make some more. I did like the gold splatters. They they're not real noticeable, but they just add something a little bit. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some green some of the gold splatters back. And if I run out of this, I will not hesitate to rebuy it. That's how much I like it. So they're gonna stream tomorrow night. Is that what she said? Well, that's good because I talked to my brother this morning and um, I told him it's cold here um, and we had snow and stuff and his son <clears throat> got into town yesterday and um, so we talked a little while ago and he said, what time do you want us to come tomorrow night, you know? And I said, let's do it earlier rather than later. Because toward the end of the afternoon, you know, I've got everything ready, and I'm just sitting here killing time, really. And so I told him, I said, let's do it earlier rather than later. Plus, they have a baby, you know, that they need to get home. Um, so my brother, my guess is, they'll be out of here somewhat um, early tomorrow night. You know, like, we'll start at 4, whatever, 4, 5. And then, um, yeah, they won't stay real late, which is fine. All right, here we go. Gold splatters everywhere. You did now. You said and splatter the white pieces now too. Splatter the white pieces. Oh, you mean the, okay, I see what you're saying. Go ahead and cut the ATC size pieces or just get the white card stock 
and splatter it too. Okay, I can do that. Do I want gold splatters? I know I want black ones, but do I want gold ones on there? Oh, that's pretty. I just love this gold. I can't believe I'm even saying that because I'm so not a gold person. Unless, of course, it's jewels. I'm Look at me. Do I even wear jewelry? I can't wear jewelry. But I did tell you, yes, Robert yesterday that I like diamonds. <laughs> I swear, I don't know why he puts up with me sometimes. <clears throat> Alright, this is the Mars Black, so we'll go ahead and make some splatterage material with that. Do both? Okay, we'll do both, because we can. We can. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And here's the white stock that I will go ahead and use. Um, I'm going to do the gold first, because I already got the... gold done. Alright, that's probably plenty. Get some on the edge. Yep, there's pretty much gold paint everywhere. No, Jeannie, that's the Dino Wakely um, gilt, is what they call it. It's the metallic gold. Um, <clears throat> and I don't have any of her other paints. But I would say if any of her other paints are like the, the gilt or the gold, don't hesitate to buy them. They're, I love that gold. For splatters, for everything. I mean, I just love that paint. So, I made enough for about 50 of these sheets, you guys. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I think Didi said her family's coming down. So I hope they're having fun today. Alright, and I think another thing I'm going to do is I can set that aside and let it dry for a minute. I'm going to have to blow that dry. But since I've got so much black, and the black I think really enhances this, I'm going to splatter this with a little bit of black as well. I need it a little bit thinner though. <coughs> Not too much. Good enough. I hate to have to wipe up that gold. I wish there was something else I could use on it. I'm going to go ahead and use it on the edge of this because I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with this. Maybe nothing. But I'll just go ahead and use Because you guys, I know other people say, oh, keep a desk journal. I don't. So... I normally just wipe it up and get on down the road. Maybe I'll um, put it real thick on this edge up here. Spray it and let it run. We'll just see what kind of mess we can make with this. used all that up. Now I'm going to spray it real quick and let it drip over that. Hi Denise, thank you. 
I'm going to move this out of the way before I trash out this. This was just using leftovers, Denise, so I don't really care what happens to this. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little spray. I got it running one way, now I'm going to run it the other way. It's making a big old mess now. Alright, we're going to set it aside and let it dry. Because, don't forget, it's just paper and if it turns out gross, we throw it away. Clean up mess. I'll probably end up making more black, but oh well. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, when I was blowing, my face was literally right at the camera. That's how close the camera is. The camera is right in front of my face. I'm going to blow this dry real quick. So I'm going to have to go back um, and find that video where you showed this again. Um, Eileen and tell her that I did her technique and it, it really is fun. This is really pretty paper this time, I think. Did you comment on a video, Eileen? Good. Um, yeah, because I, I would, in fact, Eileen, if you would for me, get her name again or her YouTube channel and let's give her credit for this because I don't want people to think that this was my idea. Um, I want to give credit where credit is due. We need your phone number. <clears throat> Don't you? Well, I don't even know if Ustream is notifying people, so I don't want to say, didn't you get notified? Because I don't even know if they're doing that. All right, from where I'm sitting right now, it kind of looks like we're dry. Even the big humpy ones are dry, so we're good. <clears throat> there is a couple places. Oops, well, that went in the gold paint. <laughs> Dumbass. Um, there's a couple places here where the washi is um, wanting to come up off the page so I'm going to go ahead and repair that right now because I don't want it doing that I mean probably what I'll end up doing um, to give them a finished look at the end of the day is probably go over them with some matte medium anyway um, but I don't want I don't want it to look messy and icky Yeah, see, there's one that's just, as soon as you touch it, it wants to pop up, so.
Okay, I think I got it. Nope, there's another one. Okay, um, where Eileen learned about this and sent me the leak. The girl's name is Andrea uh, Oki, O C K E Y P A R R, Par, on YouTube, and her channel name is Snapping Monsters on her blog. Um, her blog is Denise, snappingmonsters.blogspot.com. That was really crazy, but. Um, Hypocola. Okay, so her blog is snappingmonsters.blogspot.com. And on YouTube, she's Andrea. I don't know how to pronounce the middle name or last name. O C K E Y. Oki, Aki, <laughs> um, Par, P A R R. So, yep, she's where Eileen learned about this. And I have to say, it's been fun to do. It really has. And you end up with a crazy paper like this, which actually, if you just did this on a journal cover right now and did it a coat of matte medium over it, that would be awesome too. I mean, look at how colorful and pretty that is. And you're using your washi and stuff that, you know, I probably don't use mine as much as, as I should, in all honesty, but all right, now I'm going to turn this over um, to go ahead and cut my, well, uh, let's do it this way. Because the edges have less design than the center, I'm working with a six and three quarter inch, so that would be three and a half. Three and a half is seven, so it's not wide enough to get um, two off of this way, so... Um, they're going to end up being two and a half inch this way. So let me find the center of the paper and measure out. And then the edges of the paper become the waste, right? Yeah, use up crappy washi that you don't really like. There you go. All right. So this is six and almost three quarters. So, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to just use the middle of the... The ditch between the two columns is going to be my center. And let's see how many we're going to get out here. Oh, good. And it's 7 inch this way. So I can get 4 out of this piece of paper. So that makes me happy, happy. Um, this is about 7 and a half, which would be 3 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters. It's going to be halfway here. All right, so there we go. And I'll just draw the line down this way. Okay. And I'll after I do this, I'll use the paper cutter, I think. All right, ready, set, go. We're cutting it. And I, I'm assuming you guys understand why I cut it the way I cut it. So that the edges of the paper become what gets put in trash. Alright, let me get the cutter out and we'll use it. It wasn't very successful the last time, but we're going to pay more attention this time. Right, right. All right, so we decided this is going to be the two and a half inch way. Correct, correct. And I'm totally trusting my cuts, which may or may not be smart. <laughs> So that's how much waste I ended up with on that. That's not bad. Yep, that came out pretty good. And down here where I don't have much paint, I'll just go ahead and fill that in with black probably. And I'm actually cutting off the, the more fragile parts of these papers anyway.
Yeah, these are pretty. It's time for a new blade, I'm pretty sure. little piece of washi stuck in my hand. That's annoying. So up and down I really only lost about a quarter inch of paper. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Considering there was no planning, right, for what the end size was going to be. Here we go. We've got four more pieces to work with. I think I'm going to do the, the edges at the end, Eileen, the black edges, um, because after I cut out the circles because I have to um, edge them in black anyway. So I'll get all that black out then. Alright, I like, I am going to kind of choose where I cut my hole based on what I like out of the little pages. I actually like all of this one, so it's going to be kind of hard. But I'm thinking maybe right up there, or right over here. Yeah, right over here, I think. And I'm going to keep the circle about the same size, reason being, um... The Tim Holtz words fit pretty good in that size circle. So, um, considering there was no thought or planning here, I think things spell together pretty well, actually. Um, this one has the little duckies there and the little duckies there. Um, least favorite part, I think, is right here. which implies that I like down here. I need to check that. Um, actually, I think my least favorite is right there, to be honest. Yep. Yeah, I'm really liking these two, Eileen. I really am. Um, and I don't care if the type is going up or down, so that to me is not the top or the bottom, because I don't care. Um, in fact, this one I think I am going to do, the type going upside down. Well, that's going to have black on it. Yeah, I think my least favorite is right down here. I really like this up here, except I'm going to add some black to that. I think my least favorite is down in this corner, so we'll do it like this. Bye bye, lime green. Sorry, Eileen. Alright, that's what we're going with. I'll go ahead and. Oh, I should have while the cutter was out, cut up. 
the white stock. I think it pretty much dried on its own, so I can just cut it into ATC size pieces. And I should get about six out. say this one should already measure it guys so Yeah, see, these haven't taken near as long. That first one was the learning curve. That must have been agony <laughs> to watch. <laughs> these are going a lot faster, for sure, for sure. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do the black at the end, even though she did the black at this point, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the black at the end, so I can get it in the circle and all that. Right, right. No, I actually, you know what, you need to do it, because otherwise you'll get black inside that white. That's why she did it that way, I'm almost certain. All right, got to do black now. Sorry. And I'm going to do it like I would inking the edges. But not as tidy, you know. Just whatever happens is what happens. Cover up whatever myriad of boo-boos you don't want showing. <laughs> and I, I wasn't paying attention. All right, Eileen, that I'm going to, I can't argue with you there. I, it's my fault. I was not paying attention to Eileen. And that was why my life sucks so bad. So in the future, and this will be my New Year's resolution, in the future I resolve to hang on every word that Eileen mutters. Because I'm really quite certain that my life will be a utopia if I only listen to Eileen. Was that good, Eileen? Did you like that? Alright, this one I'm... It's hard to do when it's down, but it's impossible to do holding up. So, here we go. For about two sections. What now? Do you mean seconds, not sections? <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You heard it, so that means I have to do it. My legs are crossed, Dorothy. <laughs> listen to Eileen. I do honestly try and listen sometimes to her. Because you guys have seen her art, and she takes a lot of classes, so don't ever underestimate Eileen's artistic ability. She's all over it. I have black on my hands, so it's getting on the card. Yay me.
you came back just in time to hear my resolution yep that's my resolution in the future I will pay far more attention to ET because she's got her stuff together And somebody out there is sitting saying, you are so full of crap. See when it gets up here in the area where I cut, it becomes really difficult. All right, I'm gonna do this circle first this time. So, have any of you had to go out? to a store today. I'm going to send Robert out in a little while. I put up my banister lights yesterday and um, <laughs> only half the strand is working. I was so pissed. Um, so I was going to go but I told him uh, he can go take care of that. Because I think it's going to be really crap all out there. But actually our day has turned beautiful to get up to snow this morning and now um, the sun shining. Let me look out and see if the snow melted. Nope, there's still a little bit of snow. Um, but that was actually kind of nice this morning. It, it didn't just hack me off <laughs> to have snow this morning because I thought we weren't going to have to go anywhere. But yeah, and I remembered all oh, those darn lights. Some one one of us is going to have to get out today. And I forgot to get candy canes for Pixie, so. Poor Robert. Poor Robert. I know. Everybody feels sorry for Robert. But usually because he has to live with me. <laughs> Robert Vaughn's got it made. Uh, you guys don't even. Um, have a clue. How lucky he is. Probably by this evening, he'll be happy to get out of the house, frankly. And none of the lake people came for the holidays so it is absolutely a complete ghost town around here I mean a ghost town which I don't mind even a little bit and there's no dog tracks in the snow it's just pretty
All right. Messy is better, right? Actually, that almost looks too neat. So we're going to messy it up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to messy it up a little. Ooh, icky. Where's the baby wipe? Mincemeat pies? Uh, yeah, mincemeat pies should freeze just fine. I'm a, are they already cooked, Dorothy? Regardless, whether they're cooked or whether they're not, absolutely, you could you could freeze them. I can't imagine why you wouldn't. I'm assuming they're already cooked, Dorothy. If they are, um, and you're not sure what to do with them after they're frozen, just look up um, cooking frozen um, mince pies or something. You'll get more than you can deal with on the internet, I promise you. Alright, they don't have to be perfect, but they, they can't be a mess like they were. Yeah, you can. Mice pies. Mice in a pie. Alrighty, here we go. We've got the four. Do they, they don't even look like they're out of the same piece of paper, do they? Now some of these I'm going to put the, the circle at the bottom. Um, but I don't think it matters right now which way is which. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blow it because some of these edges got kind of thick because the next thing we're going to do is glue them down. They're cooked? Yep. You can freeze them all day long, Dorothy. Don't leave them in for long. The, the only thing that might happen when you freeze something like that is the crust may change co consistency a little bit, but not enough to notice, I wouldn't think. Yeah, you can freeze those. No doubt. Thanks, CD. I'm liking them so far. That'll probably work. I hope. I hope. All right, let's match up splatters with holes. This one didn't get much. It's got gold splatters, but not much black. This one is going to be for here. Yep, that's going to go with that one. That's going with that one. Hmm. Yeah, that one will be with that one. Fine. All right, there. Matched them up. This one might go with this one, I think. Yeah, that one looks like bubbles on the edge. What the heck? All right.
the black and white checkerboard. I know, um, CB, this one, I like that too. Um, yeah, I do like the where the checkerboard is showing through randomly at different places. I think that made a big difference. So I think the more you did it, you probably would get a feel for which of the washies maybe work better. Um, but having never done this before, how would I know? You know, I just thought, well, if it's a total bust, I'll just use the washies that I le like least favorite. And maybe the next time what I would do is I would take some of my favorite washies and um, just not cover them up with paint quite so much, right? Where the, the elements of the washi that you really loved um, showed through. So, yeah, it's just a learning curve, I think. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results. I really am. They just look pretty, especially in the camera. They, they just look pretty. All right, here we go. We're going to glue away. It really looks like it took forever to do all the colors. I know, right? Now, how the hell, I measured all the parts, and look, that looks like it's about a sixteenth inch big. Uh, I don't know if it's me or the cutter. I really don't. Has anybody else um, watched The Crown on Netflix? I was just sitting here. This says something about Sandra Island. And um, it made me think of The Crown when in season two. I'm just now watching season two. So, um, yeah. Prince Philip gets banished for bad behavior. It's the cutter. I think so too, Eileen. Robert told me the other day I was complaining about it. Something new and different for me, right? Um, and he said, why don't you just go buy the good one? <laughs> and I say, because I, if I want a really good cut, a good straight cut that I trust, I'm going to cut with a ruler and exacto anyway. So for this stuff that doesn't matter, it's fine. But I'm still going to bitch about it. So get over it. <laughs> You watched The Crown, Denise? Yeah, I watched, I just started season two of The Crown. And I, I'm at the point where um, Prince Philip gets banished because him and his secretary um, are bad boys. In fact, this morning I got up kind of early and I, I was kind of puny. I didn't feel good. I told CB that. And um, so... Normally, I would never lay down and watch TV in the morning. Never. But this morning, I went out on the couch and laid down and watched an episode of The Crown. Um, which is really totally unlike me. Unlike me. Don't do that. As a rule. Okay, Denise, um, you never saw The Crown? It's on Netflix, Eileen. You might enjoy it, actually, because it is about the royal family in England. And, you know, your, didn't you say your mother came from England? I'm pretty sure it was you, unless I'm confusing something. 
Um, I don't know how accurate it is because I don't know anything about the royals or, or anything like that or, or customs of the European or English pe people, but um, I'm enjoying it. I really am. Um, and I'm a sap for like pomp and circumstance and stuff like that. That it, I don't know. It turns me into a, a real sap. Um, so I've enjoyed it, and I think the woman, and I wish I knew her name, the the actress that plays Elizabeth, um, well, and Prince Philip, too. I think they both just do an unbelievably good job. Yes, and she says those English shows are silly. Oh, okay, Mom doesn't like them? Okay, I get it. Um, and you know what, Eileen, your mother may be very right that they give the Americans the total wrong idea about Europe and the monarchy and all that, but I'm a sap for that stuff. Like, I love Downton Abbey. Oh my God, did I love Downton Abbey? Um... I watch and read everything about the royal family. I find it just mesmerizing, I guess. Um, but I have to say, the actress who plays Queen Elizabeth in The Crown, um, I think does an amazing job. I, re I really, really like her. So, Queen Victoria... I haven't seen Victoria. Anyway. Yep, this morning I got up and watched The Crown. Alright, I kind of got a mess going on up here. I'm not sure what's going on, but I am I think it's... I cut just an edge of the washi, and it's wanting to peel off when I cut against it. So I'm going to have to add back some black paint. Um to cover it. Not a horrible thing, but just a thing. Ratatouille has surfaced from the man cave. <coughs> Find me a jerk it. Is it cold down there? Yes. Well. <sighs> Did you take a nap? Do you wanna? Did you take a nap? No. Oh, because I was going to say, you're coming up here yawning. Like it's dark down there. Took a nap. Reading a story about Heath Kit. Oh, okay. Pretty interesting. Pretty lengthy, too. Well, I've been arting for like three hours. So you're still screaming? Yep. Eileen's still bossing me, only net, this time I don't need that much bossing. Can I tell you an orange? No, thanks, hon. I'm good. Alright, let's see. I'm just looking to see if there's any other little things I need to correct before I get... Um, too far down the road here. Eileen said hi again. I get withdrawal symptoms, I swear. Eileen is addictive. <laughs> Ooh, that orange smells orangey, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Robert's sitting here peeling an orange. Holy cow. Can smell it all the way across the room. I'll just clean up this edge a little bit. All right. All right. Is this Victoria that you're talking about, Denise? It's PBS Masterpiece Theater. Okay. Yeah, then it will probably never be on Hulu or any of the rest of them. All right, my recording is done. So, 
if you watch the recording, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and continue here and finish these. And if you're on Twitter, I'll go ahead and tweet the finished product. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.